Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Upskill Channel. In today's video, we will show you how to enable USB-C charging on a laptop running Windows 11 or Windows 10 while it's off or in a low power state, we may need to adjust specific BIOS settings. USB-C charging is typically enabled by default in laptops that support USB power delivery, USB PD. This protocol allows for higher power levels, which are essential for charging larger devices like laptops, and facilitates faster charging through USB-C connections. And now let's get started. Start by pressing Win plus I to open the settings window. Navigate to System then Recovery and click Restart Now next to the Advanced Startup option. Your PC will restart, taking you to the Advanced Startup screen. From there, click Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, then UEFI Firmware Settings. Then select the Restart button to boot your PC into the UEFI BIOS. The steps to enable USB-C charging in the BIOS may vary depending on your laptop's motherboard brand. Refer to your manufacturer's documentation to find the relevant settings and ensure USB-C power delivery is configured correctly. After making any necessary changes, press F10 to save and exit the BIOS. Confirm the prompt to save and restart your laptop. Once your laptop restarts, connect the USB-C charger to see if it works. For popular motherboard brands, here are some specific steps to follow. For MSI motherboards, enter Advanced Mode in the BIOS. Navigate to Settings then, Advanced and Disable ERP. Under Wake Up Event Setup, enable Resume by USB Device. Save and exit the BIOS. Disabling ERP Ready allows the USB ports to remain powered even when the system is off. For Gigabyte motherboards, open Advanced Mode in the BIOS, disable the ERP setting, and save changes before exiting. For ASUS motherboards, access Advanced Mode in the BIOS and go to Advanced then APM Configuration. Disable ERP. Ready. Then, under Onboard Devices Configuration, enable as Media USB 3.1 Battery Charging Support or USB Power Delivery in Soft Off State S5, depending on your motherboard. This allows USB-C ports to remain active even in the shutdown state, enabling connected devices to charge. For ASRock motherboards, Open Advanced Mode in the BIOS, go to Advanced then Chipset Configuration, and disable the Deep Sleep option. This will keep certain components powered, even when the system is off. In most cases, USB-C charging works seamlessly on supported laptops, without the need for manual configuration. However, if your laptop isn't charging via USB-C, ensure you're using a compatible charger that can provide the necessary wattage, which is typically 45W or 65W or more. Make sure it's connected to the correct port and that the USB-C cable is designed for power delivery, undamaged, and free from debris. Additionally, if your laptop is still not charging, consider disabling the power management setting for USB root hub. To disable the power management setting, open Device Manager and expand Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Right-click on USB root hub, you may have multiple, and select Properties. Go to the Power Management tab and uncheck the box for allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Click OK and repeat for other USB root hubs. Also, disable USB Selective Suspend, which controls whether Windows can suspend individual USB ports to conserve power. To do this, press Win plus S, type Power, and select Edit Power Plan. In the Edit Plan Settings window, click on Change Advanced Power Settings. In the Power Options dialog, expand USB Settings and then expand USB Selective Suspend setting. Set both options to Disabled, then click Apply and OK. Disabling Selective Suspend ensures it won't interfere with USB-C charging, especially when the laptop is idle or in sleep mode. I hope you found the video helpful. Please like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.